Hello everyone, uh, I'm putting this up here just to show YouTube that I am operating within the guidelines of fair use, um, which allows to use segments of material I do not own the rights for in order to criticize and express an opinion. Uh, you know, just as any democratic uh, free speech supporting platform would do. Uh, I'm not going to make any money out of this, and everything I upload here will be for the sole purpose of reviewing, um, critique, and expressing opinions about uh, what's going on and what went on um, on the Fully Living channel. Thank you. I was currently in timeout because he was being uh, very noisy when... I okay, so Raphael, of course, is... Um, on timeout again for being noisy, but not only for being noisy. What else has he done? Let's see. Grabbing attention, grabbing the toy out of her hand, making her scream. Yeah. He just took her toy. She yeah. Like that. That's not good. To take she out doesn't like that. Toys. She screams, so yeah, he got no sent to timeout. Because then mommy has to edit it out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let's see now. A few things that Raphael has done. He was grabbing attention, as his father says. Uh, Andrea also added that when the camera is on, he needs attention. I wonder what that, why that is. Maybe because that's the only time the kids get attention? Who knows? Um, and then he took Abigail's toy. Hmm. He took Abigail's toy and then Abigail screams. And that's really annoying to them because then mommy has to edit it out. Wow. Well, she's busy guarding Daddy Kitty for you. She's keeping it for you. Daddy Kitty is Raffle's toy. Abigail, please can you give me back my Daddy Kitty? She's just got it a fight, okay? Ah, okay. So when Raphael's toy is uh, taken away from him and given to the baby, or rather the baby probably took it out of his hand because until today Abigail grabs everything out of Raphael's hands and he is supposed to share every little thing. He has nothing of his own. Um... Here, suddenly, when the boy asks really nicely, can I please have my kitty back, what does uh, daddy come up with? She's guarding it for you. I see, so, well, double standards, anyone? Or how about a bit of favoritism here? She's eating my tag of it. <laughs> nah, she's just making sure that it's good for you. She's keeping it intact, integrity dized. I don't know what integrity dized means, but let's just ignore that. Um, what we see here is how Raphael is refused his toy again and again by his father. Now, now, I have to remind you, by this time, they already claimed that he is autistic and has OCD. And these kids sometimes may get really, really attached to objects. So the objects in this case, uh, the cat, is something that Raphael shows us that he really wants and needs and likes and he wants it to be in his hands. So if your child is autistic, why aren't you giving him back his toy? That's A. And B, why did you punish him for doing exactly the same thing before? That is such a double standard. Maybe she needs Baba. No, maybe you need to put that down. I didn't tell you to give her Baba, did I? Put it down immediately. She needs Baba. You need to quit acting up. In his despair to get his cat back, Raphael tries to find a way. He comes up with the thought that if she has a bottle of water, then she won't need to be holding this cat. But that is very understandable. Listen to the tone of his father. Listen to the way he talks to him. No compassion, no warmth, no understanding, nothing. Just a sergeant giving commands. When I my daddy kitty. Go get him quickly. <gasps> nah, -uh -uh. no running. <laughs> Please. Did you stop? Listen to Hadar giggle when he sees how obedient his son is. That the moment he says stop, the boy just stops uh, on the spot and doesn't move. He is just so thrilled with that ability to control. And in this segment, you just see how they're walking because the father forbade the kid to run to get the toy um, and when Raphael asks his sister why did you drop it of course uh, Hadar blames the boy for that um, 
At this moment he says, uh, okay, you can run now, and the boy runs. Runs now. Um, the rest of the video goes into this incident, that I have a whole video which is separate, and I will link it down below. All right, so we're back, and Goober's here, got some sun. It's very apparent. My, mild sun on her body, like daddy. Yeah, she's probably gonna be dark. And Lafayette, on the contrary, if he got sun on his face, well, you can tell a little bit, but if he continuously stands in the sun, he just gets burnt and back to white. Burnt and get back to white. Abigail and I stay dark for a while. Well, go ahead and go wash your feet. I stay dirty. dark too. Oh, that's really painful. He, he got so insulted, but again, this, this teaming up, Dad and Abby, and then Raphael is the outsider, the one who's different, the outcast. Just so sad.